channel and for those of you guys seeing my face for the very first time my name is Esmeralda but most people like to call me Esme and if you guys are not subscribed please make sure to hit the little red button I would really really appreciate it so as you guys can tell by the title of this video I'm going to be sharing a few of my favorite products that I've been using this winter and I actually filmed a video of spring favorites around two years ago and I never filmed another favorites video so I thought I'd bring it back so if you guys are interested make sure to keep watching so I actually separated the products into three categories so we have clothing makeup products and self-care products so i think i'm gonna start off with the clothing and the first piece is actually this top that i'm wearing i actually wore this top in my birthday vlog and in my winter lookbook video so you probably recognize it but it is this simple black mock neck top and it is ripped so it has some lining as you guys can see i got this top on shein and i just think it's a staple for the winter i feel like everyone should own this top or at least something similar to it because you can style it in so many different ways and this one specifically isn't too thin or thick but it is soft and it's really stretchy and comfortable so i've been using it quite a lot this winter i like to use this to layer on other pieces like sweater vests or jackets so this top has really come in handy and i'll make sure to link this and any other products that i show in this video in the description box below so make sure to check that out and going along with layering shackets have been one of my favorite pieces this winter and since i live in chicago i actually have not been able to just wear this as a jacket with a top under so this one is my favorite and this one is from forever 21 this one is definitely more on the thick side it is pretty warm i can definitely wear this in the fall or springtime when it's still a little bit chilly out and then i have two other ones that i've been using quite a lot so this one is also from forever 21 and it's just this orange auburn corduroy jacket it's really comfortable it is a little bit on the crop side and the model that was wearing this was actually wearing it as a top itself so she had it buttoned up which you can do but i haven't worn it that way so i love this one i love the color and the last one is this one which is from shein so it's just this black one that has plaid on one side and since both of these are a little bit more thin i've been using it under a winter coat so they kind of work for me as a sweater honestly and i feel like shackets were really in this past year and this season all right the next piece is this plain black zip up hoodie but so i've been using this one so much i work from home i always throw on a sweater or a hoodie when it's really cold outside and it's cold inside my room and this one i actually got from amazon it's by the brand hames so it's good quality made out of good material and this one is form fitting so it's not really stretchable but it does the job it keeps me warm and i'm looking forward to wearing this to go out for a jog during the springtime all right so this next item are these black leather pants and i phrased about these pants on my channel quite a few times these are from shein and they have a zipper and a button they're also wide leg and they have this stitching detail by the knee and i know some people are like how are you wearing leather pants during the winter when it's cold out but with these they actually have this lining inside which is pretty warm and soft and i personally wear thermal pants when it's really cold outside so i throw those under these and i'm not cold at all and i've been loving these for dressing up and going out with friends and i really want to get the same pair in different colors all right so this next item are accessories and they are these bucket hats but they are the fuzzy teddy bucket hats and i got it in black first and then i ordered it in white because i think it's great to have these two colors specifically so they can be combined with many different outfits and i actually have gotten all of my bucket hats from shein they're very affordable pretty good quality and since i don't use them on a daily basis i didn't want to spend too much on them they also have this string inside which can help to adjust it in case it's too big on your head and you can make it tighter but these are actually perfect fitting for me and the last thing that i have in this category are these boots these are the Doc Martin faux fur lining Chelsea boots. 
so excuse them they're a little bit dirty at the moment i've been loving these so much it does have the faux fur lining on the inside and they're actually really warm but they're not too warm to the point that your feet are sweating or anything like that at first they did feel pretty heavy but i got used to wearing them and now i can walk perfectly fine with them and i also love the platform on these all right so now we're gonna get into the skincare products so the first thing that i have on here is my favorite body lotion this is by bath and body works and it is in the scent fireside flurry so for the fragrance it says that it is a mix of toasted marshmallow pink lavender and cashmere woods and it just smells so good like i wish you guys could smell it it smells like vanilla but it also has that scent of lavender and i guess it kind of smells like marshmallows too it does help moisturize my skin and i honestly regret not buying two of these because i know they're seasonal so they're not gonna have these in the upcoming months but yeah this is definitely my favorite lotion i also have another lotion by bath and body works this is the stress relief moisturizing body lotion and this is part of the aroma therapy collection this one smells like eucalyptus and spearmint and I've been using this for my hands because my hands really dry out during the winter time and it's definitely helped me out. It also smells really nice and I'm not sure if it helps relieve stress but I apply it during the night and I'm able to sleep well so it might. <laughs> and these next two products are by the brand Tony Moly. The first one is this hydrating lavender mask sheet and my friend actually gifted this to me on my birthday and I know that you're only supposed to use this once but it has so much liquid in it that I honestly can fold it back in here and use it up to three times. My face sometimes dries up especially with the products that I've been using for my acne and this one definitely helps hydrate it. And then I've also been using this sleeping mask which is the I'm Lavender Lullaby Sleeping Mask. And as you guys can see, I've been using quite a lot of it, so I'm probably gonna run out of it soon and I'm gonna have to go get another one. And then I also have this daily eye cream. This is by the brand Yes2 and this is the avocado one. It's for dry skin, it's fragrance free, and my under eyes always used to get pretty dry and this has definitely helped with that. And it's also helped me with my dark circles. It doesn't say that it's for that, but it's helped lessen them. I don't think that my dark circles are as dark anymore. So this is actually the second bottle that I bought because I actually really like it. and the last thing in this category is this deep conditioning hair mask this is by the brand briogeo and it's their don't despair repair hair mask i got it as a birthday reward from ulta and i had never heard of this brand before but it leaves my hair feeling so smooth and silky a little bit goes a long way and i only use it once a week i'm pretty sure i'm gonna run out of this soon i'm gonna have to go get another one but i definitely recommend this if your hair is dried out all right and we have now reached the last category which are makeup products so the first thing that i have on here are my lip balms so i actually have two this one is by colourpop and if you guys know me you know that i love colourpop i have been using their makeup products for forever honestly and this was part of their coco loco collection it smells like coconut so it has a really great scent but it also helps moisturize my lips which are honestly dry most of the time and the other one is by Mario Badescu. I haven't been using this one as much because I'm trying to finish this one up first. But this one also smells like coconut and vanilla, so I really like it. And once I finish that one, I'm going to go into this one. I also have this blush, which I have shown on my channel various times in my makeup videos. This is by the brand Milk Makeup, and it is in the shade Work. And I actually got this as a birthday reward from Sephora like three years ago, and I still have a lot of product in here, so a little bit goes a long way, and it lasts a long time. If you're looking for a natural looking blush, I would definitely recommend this one. And then I also have a mascara. This is the ColourPop Act Natural Defining Mascara. And I also purchased the first mascara that ColourPop released, but I honestly didn't like it. It was super messy to clean up when I was taking off my makeup at the end of the day. So this one is not like that at all. And it gives volume and length. But yeah, I really like this one and it's also pretty affordable. And the very last thing that I want to share with you guys that I have been obsessed with are my bronzers. So the first one is by e.l.f. This is the Putty Bronzer. 
and my friend actually gifted this to me for my birthday and when i first started using makeup i used a lot of elf products but then i kind of geared away from it but once i started using this bronzer i'm like i definitely have to go back and try out some of their other products because i'm obsessed i'm actually using it right now and it makes my skin look really natural which i love and the other one is by nars this is the Laguna bronzer and I actually received this as a birthday reward from Sephora this past year and this one is in powder form it has a little bit of a shimmer so it kind of depends on the day which one I decide to wear between those two but I love and recommend both of them but yeah guys that's it for today's video I hope you guys found it helpful and maybe found a few products that you're wanting to try out if you guys end up trying anything let me know in the comments down below if you guys like them as much as I do if you enjoy this video make sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to turn my post notification so that you're notified when my next video goes up and i'll see you guys in my next video bye